Uh, all the porn powerless, for sure. What'd you think? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. It you wasn't awesome. expecting it either. That was good. It was the best. We all can hear something brand new. See our God in a new, beautiful way. Hey beautiful people, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Today I want to talk to you about worship. Why do we worship? Who do we worship? What's the point of worship? Let's get after it. How many times have you heard this statement or actually even said this statement that I didn't get anything out of the worship service today? You ever said that or does that sound familiar? See, I hear this a lot that from people they're like oh I didn't get anything from today's service I didn't get anything out of the worship you know was it this was it my favorite song and that's where things have kind of shifted in the wrong direction in church to me let's pray together and then we'll get started Father God so I went to this awesome concert it was all sons and daughters if you don't know who they are please go check them out they're incredible they're one of my favorite bands uh, I actually did a cover of one of their songs before too. But I went into this concert thinking, and, and they actually labeled it as an intimate night of worship. It wasn't a concert or uh, you know, a huge thing. It was just a small gathering um, for an intimate night of worship. And I actually went into this, this event expecting worship. I mean, I was like anticipating the worship that was going to that was going to happen from this event. I knew the band, I knew how the, the styles of music that they sang and the songs that they sang, and I knew that it was a very worshipful style of, uh, uh, of music. So they opened the night with a wonderful explanation of, of what the night was for and why we were there and started off with just this beautiful song. If you've ever been to a night with us before, you understand how this works, but uh, if you haven't, we pray that you feel the freedom tonight to engage with God the way that you feel like He's leading you to. So if that means tonight finding a corner of the room and just getting alone by yourself, do it. If it means standing tonight, if it means sitting, if it means reading scripture, if there's somebody that God puts on your heart tonight to talk to that you, you know that they're here, get up and move and go. We don't want anything up here to pull you away from what he's doing in your seat tonight. We like to start these nights open-handed with the acknowledgement of the need of our Father. We find that when we start in this position, when we posture ourselves in this way, We start to see things a little bit different. And all of this got me thinking, how many times do I go into worship not prepared to worship? More thinking of what can I get out of worship instead of what can I do for God and how can I praise Him for everything that He's done for me. See, we've already been given more than we deserve. Um, and that is the gift of eternal life and the option for eternal life. But so many times we think, you know, oh God, I'll do this if you do this for me. Or we go running to God going, oh, please God, give me this. He's given us more than we deserve, so why don't we continually run to Him going, oh, I need this, oh, I need this. Instead of going, God, what can I do for you? How can I honor you through praise? How can I honor you through worship? See, when we enter into worship, you're only going to get whatever you put into it. If you go in expecting nothing, more than likely you're going to get nothing out of it. If you go in expecting something amazing and giving all your praise and all your worship to God, you're probably going to get a little bit more out of it.
We live in a culture that's all about me and what can I get out of something, but it's really more praising God for all that he's done for us and being thankful for everything that he's done for us. See, worship represents humility, humbleness, um, you know, a surrender of ourselves. And whenever we enter into God's house, whenever we enter our time of worship, whether that be quiet time song, listening to the radio on the way to work, we have to enter it with the mindset that he is greater and he's already done more for us and we need to give all of our praises to him. And to be completely honest, this was probably one of the most, eh, literally it was one of the top um, worship experiences I've ever had. And it was all about my mindset and how I was preparing myself to go into worship. Um, I started in prayer, I sang the songs, prayed some more, um, and just completely surrendered everything. And it was just so emotional, it was so, so real to experience God in that way just completely surrendering myself and going, God, how can you use me? What can you do with me? Please, God, just use me as a vessel to get your message out. And that was an incredible experience. So next time you enter into worship, remember it's not all about what I can get out of it, but what we can give praise and honor and glory to the one who deserves it most of all. Remember, your life is your ministry. Live it out. Oh.